we're looking at our 433 um, system and how we defend when the ball is in the middle third of the field. And so if that is the case, so if we have the ball and the ball is in the middle third of the field and the team is attacking along the side here, then our first initial responsibility is for our winger to get over to the fin. The outside back in this, in this area then is going to, our outside, our back line is actually going to get into a cup. The center backs are going to slide over and split the field. Our holding mid is in a central position here so that he's actually covering that area that's being that our center backs are moving over so that they can able to support our wingers. But in this case, since the ball is on this side, then that center back is going to slide. Outside back here has technique here, looking for the ball to be switched. Our holding mid then has been split, so we have a triangle here between our two center backs and our holding mid, and then the Attacking mid is in a support position on, on the side of the ball. Our center forward then is in a tuck position. What we are looking to do is force the team to play the ball back around the outside, not again, not allowing any ball to penetrate the middle of our defense. Our other opposite attacking mid is still going to stay connected with the attacking mid so they keep that pair of shape. So if you can actually see this, what you see is that between our two attacking mids and holding mid, we have that triangle support system, as well as between our two center backs and the holding mid, we have a triangle system of support there. So that we're preventing any lanes that a team is able to uh, play the ball, but then we're also able to immediately apply uh, pressure. What we are doing always with our defending technique is really being compact uh, within our system, staying compact within our system so that we stay balanced and what we are doing and then taking away the space that's available for a team to play. We want a team, you know, this is set up at a time where that we are either having a team to play back around the back of the defense, which allows us to shift and to take away more space and ground to gain ground. And then also looking for the ball to be played as a switch, an aerial ball. And, and that's the case that this outside back on this side should be looking for that aerial ball to be switched. And either that player that is picking that aerial ball off or has time to rotate over to that player and then we get back to what we said in our defending third technique with this outside back then if this ball is switched to this other side then this outside back rotates if they're not able to pick up the ball then they're squeezing that defender to the sideline so even though we are saying this outside back on this side even if the ball is here is, is tough deemed to support these players here. What we don't want to do is get a ball played in behind. So that person then has to make sure that they are aware of this outside player on this side, but we do not want them leaving that gap so that now we have that through ball here. So that outside back opposite on the ball is able to play in a position to support but look and be mindful of the player on that outside shoulder and really waiting for that ball to be switched over there to be able to say the ball is switched, pick up the ball, and now we start our counterattack from there. If the ball is, is in the middle of this, and then what, what we can say is basically that, okay, well now we're gonna look at how do we form a real good arrowhead basically with our again our outside backs being in a cup formation here and then our attacking mids again we're looking to take away every passing lane in the middle of this field we want to force a team to play the ball on the outsides 
and looking for our outside backs to have good technique and individual one-on-one -on -one defending uh, technique where they're not overrunning the ball, but they're actually in here to control the player to allow everybody to shape up around them and provide them with the support. So while outside backs on the, in this 4-3 system that we employ need to be uh, very good one-on-one -on -one defenders, very good on the ball as well, but understand you know body positioning as well as how do I take control of the player when they are on the outside with me. So that if the ball is switched around here to this player, then this player here on the outside has to have good technique where they're not overrunning the ball and allowing everybody else then to shape up around them to provide that support that they need while they're in those one-on-one -on -one defending techniques. And again, what we're looking for is to try to force the ball to be switched to the other side. And you can see that we are basically taking away half of the field. We want to be compact with our defending. If there's a through ball or a ball being released on the outside of this player into this area, then we are looking for the rotation between our center backs out here and our, and our um, outside back tucking in um, there and so that we can still maintain that coverage for any through balls that are being played there. But what we are really trying to get our outside backs to do is actually when they are at the middle of the field to prevent that from happening by then taking a defensive stance, getting in a boxer stance to actually force the ball back into their help and not giving them that through ball that's coming there. And also with our, uh, you can see here with our uh, keeper, we are doing a high line. They're not sitting back on their line. They're actually coming up. And what they're doing is looking for any lofted ball into that area that they're able to pick up versus if they're in, into this area. Uh, so the keeper is looking for any lofted ball into the area being a pick up. So we want them in, not to be sitting back on their line and then having to sprint up to get the ball, but already being a, playing a high line and therefore as a deterrent for them lofting the ball into that area for anybody running into this area here. But again, this guy here on the outside, player on the outside still has the responsibility of tracking any, on any run, diagonal run coming across so that we make sure that that coverage is there and uh, vice versa then communicating with the center back so that we get that we are dropping if we need to drop with those runs. But looking to say if that ball is switched, then we have the keeper in a position to pick the ball up. And